welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, the equivalent pi network of the two port network okay so in the previous video uh, that is uh, we discussed the equivalent t network of the two port network so t network means uh, in the shape of the capital t the three elements are connected okay so if you want to implement uh, Uh, the two port network in t structure means uh, the impedance parameter if you know means we can relate okay similarly uh, if uh, in order to draw the equivalent pi network of uh, one two port network so you should know the admittance parameter that is y parameter if you know means we can easily construct the uh, pi network okay pi network elements of the two port network okay uh, so first consider one linear passive and two port reciprocal network okay so you know uh, we are considering one linear network passive two port reciprocal network so in that one one dash is so the input port two two dash is the output port okay so now we are going to replace this linear passive two port reciprocal network by equivalent pi network okay so pi means in the shape of pi the three elements are connected so you see uh, here one element connector Uh, in this arm one element connector here one arm is connected so this element is ya this element is yb this element is yc okay so here instead of impedance uh, we are uh, considering the admittance admittance nothing but it's a reciprocal of impedance so ya uh, yc and yb you just consider okay this is the equivalent pi network of the two port reciprocal network okay so now we are going to relate this ya yb yc in terms of the y parameter y11 y12 y21 and y22 and y11 y2 value we have to derive in terms of ya yb yc okay two thing we are going to see and related problem also we are going to solve okay so first one you just uh, uh, write uh, the as per the definition of the y parameter you just write down the y parameter equation So as per the y parameter equation, i one equal to y one one v one plus y one two into v two. Similarly, the current uh, i two equal to y two one v one plus y two two v two. So these two equations are call it as a y parameter equation. Already you know. Okay. Then uh, the y parameter of the equivalent pi network it may be obtained by. Okay. So we are going to construct uh, uh, the two equation i one i two. Uh, similar to the structure for this equivalent pi network okay so using the kirchhoff's current law so for that you just uh, note down the current in all branches so you know this is the input current i1 this is the second port current i2 and in remaining branch you, uh, you just uh, note down the variable the current flowing through this branch you take it as a i3 current flowing through this branch you take it as a i4 and the current flowing through this branch you take it as a i5 okay so here there are two nodes okay this is the node a and this is the node b okay so for node a you just write the kcl equation so for node a if you are writing kcl i1 is a incoming current i3 and i4 is a outgoing current okay so for node a i1 equal to i3 plus i4 okay so we can write so apply kcl to node a i1 equal to i3 plus i4 okay so i1 equal to i3 what is i3 so here you see i3 is a current flowing through this uh, ya admittance so what is this current this current is nothing but voltage at node a minus voltage at this reference uh, node uh, into this admittance value if it is a impedance divided by but this is the admittance value so that's why i3 equal to va okay va here va is nothing but v1 voltage at node a is v1 voltage at node b is v2 okay so that's why uh, the current i3 equal to v1 minus 0 into ya similarly i4 equal to v1 minus v2 into yc i5 equal to v2 minus 0 into yb okay so you substitute uh, uh, that current value so you see i1 equal to v1 minus 0 into ya i4 is v1 minus v2 into yc okay then you collect uh, the term v1 term separately v2 term separately so you see this equation this equation is like the structure of uh, y parameter first equation you see the first equation is i1 in terms of v1 v2 so you see i1 in terms of v1 v2 okay 
to consider this is the equation number 3 similarly we have to apply kcl to node b okay so for node b so you see node b for node b i2 is a incoming current i4 is a incoming current i5 is a outgoing current so i2 plus i4 equal to i5 okay so we can write i2 plus i4 equal to i5 so here we have to derive i2 in terms of v1 v2 so i2 equal to i5 minus i4 so you substitute the i5 value and i4 value in terms of the voltages and admittance so here i5 is nothing but v2 minus 0 into yb okay so you see the diagram i5 is nothing but v2 voltage in node b is v2 v2 minus 0 into yb i4 is nothing but uh, v1 minus v2 into yc okay so we can substitute it okay so then you just rearrange you collect the v1 term and v2 term separately so we got i2 equation in terms of uh, v1 and v2 okay so this equation is similar to the second equation of the y parameter equation okay so then you just compare this equation number 3 and equation number 4 with our standard y parameter equation number 1 and 1 2 we can get the y 1 1 equal to ya plus yc y 1 2 equal to minus yc y 2 1 equal to minus yc y 2 2 equal to yb plus yc okay so this is the relation between the pi network element and y parameter okay so this is the relation so from that uh, the y parameter matrix of the equivalent pi network is given by uh, what is y11 ya plus yc y22 is yb plus yc then the y12 y21 is minus yc okay so we can relate uh, then uh, from that uh, if you are rearranging we can get ya yb yc value in terms of the y parameter so here ya equal to y11 plus y12 Y B is nothing but Y two two plus Y one two. Y C is nothing but minus Y one two or minus Y two one. Okay, this is the values of pi network element in terms of Y parameter. So in problem, if Y parameter given means we can construct the pi network. Our pi network element given means we can form a admittance value Y one one Y one two Y so using this formula. Okay. so anything we can form uh, so this is the equivalent uh, pi structure value in terms of admittance parameter so now we are going to solve the problem related with this uh, for the two port network the equations are given find the y parameter and the abcd parameter also find its equivalent pi network okay so first one what is the given equation you see I one and I two in terms of V one V two. So what is this two equation? This two equations are Y parameter equation. Okay. So in that in first equation the coefficient of V one is Y one one. The coefficient of V two is Y one two. The coefficient of uh, this in second equation the coefficient of uh, uh, V one is Y two one. This is the Y two two. Okay. So from that you just note down the value Y one one is point five. Y one two is minus point two. Y two one is minus point two. Y two two is one. Okay. Uh, then uh, our aim is to find out. So find Y parameter and A B C D parameter. Y parameter we calculated. Okay. Directly from the equation we can calculate it. Then A B C D parameter. So we have to convert this Y parameter into A B C D parameter. Okay. So already we studied. Uh, if any one parameter you know means uh, there is a interrelationship formula is that. using that formula we can convert into another parameter okay so this is the uh, relation between uh, a b c d and y parameter okay so the a value is uh, uh, that is solved by a value equal to minus y22 divided by y21 okay so minus y22 what is y22 1 y21 is minus 0.2 so if you are solving a is 5 similarly b is B equal to minus one by y two one, so it is a five ohms. C is minus del y determinant of y matrix divided by y two one, so it's a two point three ohm more. Okay, uh, then D is calculated by minus y one one by y two two, so it's a two point five. 
So A, B, C, D parameter is calculated. So in order to solve this, first you should know the relation. This formula you should first know. Okay, in order to convert Y parameter into A, B, C, D parameter, there is a relation already there. You just uh, know this relation means using that you sub substitute and find out the answer. Okay, so A, B, C, D parameter calculated. Then the next one, we have to draw the equivalent pi network. So what is the equivalent pi network? This is the in pi shape. We have to connect three elements. This is Y A, this is Y B, Y C. Already, uh, so we have to find out Y A, Y B, Y C value. What is Y A? Uh, just now we derived Y A is nothing but Y 1 1 plus Y 1 2. Okay, so Y 1 1 value is 0.5. Y 1 2 value is minus 0 0.2. So 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Similarly, Y B is nothing but Y 2 2 plus Y 1 2. So 1 minus 0 0.2, 0 0.8. YC is nothing but minus Y12. So it is a 0.2 more. Okay. So after calculating YA, YB, YC, you just substitute in our diagram. Okay. So this is our equivalent pi network of the two port network. Okay. So we derive. So this is a one type of problem. Similarly, uh, if YA, YB, YB, YC value will be given, we have to find out y11, y22, y22 uh, value means using this uh, uh, this formula. Using this formula, you just find using ya, yc value, you just find y11, y12, y21, and y22. Okay. So that is also yeah, another one problem. So thanks for watching my channel. And please subscribe my channel for more videos. If you want to learn all videos related to the circuit analysis, in my channel, in the name of circuit analysis, one complete playlist is that. And uh, if you want to learn the two more questions uh, related to the subject, in the name of circuit analysis MCQ, one more playlist is that. I will give link for those uh, playlists in the description box. If you want to learn, you just uh, use it. Okay, so thank you. We will meet in the next video with one more thing.